Hi everyone, I'm Ryan. Welcome back to my garage. Um, sorry for not putting a video out for last week, uh, but I was feeling rather unwell. And to those of you that reached out on Instagram to uh, just touch base and check with me and uh, check everything was alright, really do appreciate that. Thank you very, very much. Um, also, what a brilliant bunch of subscribers I've got. I have received a package. So this package was uh, sent to me by uh, Tharon. Um, I just want to um, thank him so much. This is um, gonna be the second thing that I've received for this bike. Um, so if you've been watching the channel so far, you would have seen I was sent a package by KI, and um, <coughs> that was the seat and side panel. <coughs> Excuse me. Now this, I haven't opened yet. I think I know what I'm largely expecting. Right, let's see what we've got here. So, we've got, oh. So Darwin's building a, um, a scrambler himself. If you look on Facebook on, on the CB Owners Club, it's the one with the best looking exhaust you've ever seen in your life. And he just said to me, I've got some bits that would really help you. Let me just send them to you. So, I've got a couple of pod filters, which for the scrambler will be perfect. Look at these, nicely wrapped. Indicators. So what have we got here? One. Brackets. Another indicator. I mean, they are extremely good. Very pleased with that. What else we got here? Oh, <laughs> he's also sent me some little tiny front LED indicators. Interesting. <coughs> and these brackets, which okay. I'm not immediately sure where these go. I will do some research. <coughs> but thank you, thank you very, very much. Really do genuinely appreciate this. And I'm very pleased to say I had the opportunity um, to pay forward the generosity that I've received. So uh, the guy on YouTube, uh, Rusty Rex, uh, Pete, he needed some bits for a bike fit. He's building at the moment. Um, he came over to visit me. And I was very, very pleased to be able to give him some items that I had here. Um, not a lot, I mean, it's an old engine case, um, a wheel, some internals for suspension, but just some bits that will really help him. So, I really appreciate the generosity I've received, and I've passed that on to try and uh, continue and extend the theme. Um, so, that's excellent, excellent. Now, the one thing I have bought myself is a set of carb balancers. Never used these before. Got them at a very good price. Delivered to my door. Four set, less than 40 pounds. Um, so I'm gonna try and set these up, use these, try and work out where these brackets go. See if we can make a little progress today. Um, I'm not feeling the best. I don't think I'm going to get a huge amount done. And to Nat, I ordered the polishing pads that I needed to do the case. And I accidentally ordered them from a supplier that's based in China. So they're not going to be here for a while. My mistake, that one. Shouldn't have done that. So uh, let's get started. Okay, I'm going to have a little play with the carb sink, see what happens. So this is my setup, um, hanging fuel line into the carbs. I've got two gauges in the middle connected via tubes, which just connect into this little adapter that screws in there and there. So it's actually very simple to set up. Now see if the bike's gonna run, it's not ran for a couple of weeks, um, but I'm gonna try and start it, see what figures we get. Okay. So it has 
skill. Mission. Choke. warm up and then we'll try and take some readings. At the moment it's cold. Okay. So that's what I'm getting. <laughs> Choke is in. Choke's all the way in. Kick over. I've just used up all that fuel and let it shut off. As far as I could determine, with a very amateur eye, um, these were in sync. I didn't seem to be reading a lot, but you know they 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 moved together, they idled together. If I was trying to get them so they were closer to mimic each each other, I think that just achieved that. So still don't think it's running right and I think it may well be mixture, jet, something but at least I do think they're synced so uh, that was an interesting experiment ok let's do something else so I've just put away the carb sink kit and a few things in here I want to do whilst it's all uncovered this loom here should in fact be tucked in behind the frame so I'm going to take the opportunity to actually route that correctly because it's, it's sort of getting in the way of the, uh, the, the, the side panel at the moment. And also these two little cables, uh, when Pete came over um, during the week, um, he just advised I just put these neatly behind this so they're just out of the way. So I'm going to take that off, loosen up the air box. I can't fit that through without removing the air box, but if I could loosen that up, and get that back rooted correctly and put it back together. So, another little task. So there we go, that's a much neater result. So the loom now actually goes behind the frame between that and the air box and off to the bare light and the cables down to the um, repeater, um, indicator, flashy unit, that's the word I'm looking for, tucked away as well. So uh, yeah, that looks neater. Um, just going to have another look at the rear light because I noticed the other day it actually wasn't working properly so I'm just going to check the connections up over here and make sure that's working. Right, so I've been checking out the cable that runs from these connectors to the lights and I've been experiencing problems so I'm just going to replace these wires and whilst I'm here the actual light itself um, the connections didn't feel good and I've got another one which is I think more original none of these wires have been cut um, so I'm going to swap this over, so I'm changing the light and I'm replacing the cables that run between that and that. Um, and hopefully that one I'll get my light working reliably again and not intermittently. So I've been out here for a couple of hours now, messing about with this rear light trying to get it to work. And I have finally just worked out that the actual connector that goes into the centre there, you can push out. And then I've managed to clean up the contacts on the end, which I think was the bulk of my problems. Which, once you lift them out, you can actually get to. 
So now let me just reattach the ends that I've incorrectly taken off, reassemble it, see if that makes a difference because this rear light's been winding me up. Okay, let me uh, put it back together now. Finally, I've got all that button back up. I've got all the cables around, around here neatly, connected through there, ran up here, connected into the back. If I put the ignition on, there we go. So, working lights. All nice and neat, back as it should be. God, that took a lot longer than was necessary. In attempting to sort that out, there was another light, which I thought was good, but when I tried to use it, the sides had previously been glued together, so that disintegrated on me. I've had the connector itself is worn out. The, the actual connectons are flat, so the bulb doesn't make good contact. Um, and chasing that in conjunction with the fact I appear to have a problem with the feed to the rear light through the wiring loom now, I don't understand why, three things conspired to make that far more complicated than it should have been. Anyway, move on. Well, that's me done again for this weekend. Um, look, appreciate your patience with this because I feel like I've really slowed down, but I'm gonna get some uh, movement back into this. I've also had a conversation today uh, with someone who I think I'm gonna be able to get another engine from for the Scrambler project. So hopefully that comes off and hopefully I can show that next week. Um, so for now, I'm gonna say thank you very much. And goodbye, please like, subscribe, any support you can give me. And uh, stay safe. See you all soon.